Sundays, beginning this fall at 7 p.m. on Channel 9, Rogers TV, we launch the 10th season of One Chef, One Critic with Chef Steve Watson and yours truly, Carl Wells. As I think back on all the guests and chefs who've appeared on the show, it gets easier to believe the number 10 is accurate. So who's been on the show since we started? Everybody. Well, at least that's what it seems like. Certainly, we've had people of every description, varied backgrounds, and from many different walks of life. There have been very few repeat guests, except Mark Critch became sort of a semi-regular on the show over the years. In our 10th season, we have two generations of the Critch family represented. Mark is joined by his talented son, Jacob. Jacob Critch aspires to become a professional musician, not a comedic actor like his dad. He's written, composed, and performed his own music. Other 10th season guests include former Telegram and CBC TV journalist Atza Rizori, who helps us prepare poached salmon and mustard sauce while filling us in on a life that took him from post-war Europe to a career in Canadian newspapers beginning in Western Canada. CBC Radio Morning Show co-host Chrissy Holmes appears to recount her time as the original producer of One Chef, One Critic. Among other women who will appear on the show this year are St. John Ambulance CEO, Glenda Janes, and well-known Canadian philanthropist, Eleanor Gill Ratcliffe. Gill Ratcliffe is known for her donations to multiple cultural institutions and charities. She explains why she decided to give away so much of her wealth. Author and playwright Robert Chafe joins us to talk about, among other topics, his stage adaptation of Wayne Johnston's novel, The Colony of Unrequited Dreams. Theater is a main subject when we host actor Philip Goodridge. Goodridge has appeared in many local productions, especially musicals. Recently, he turned his hand back to playwriting. He'll tell us what first sparked interest in penning his own plays. Singer Chris LeDrew appears to give us a glimpse into his life as a musician, songwriter, teacher, and photographer. Dr. Ian Sutherland, another guest with qualifications in music and education, is the Dean of the School of Music at Munn. He'll talk about his experience as a music educator in Europe and about the new challenges ahead of him here in Newfoundland and Labrador. In addition to the mouth-watering entrees we'll prepare with our guests, we've invited chefs from over a dozen different St. John's restaurants to prepare an appetizer or dessert on each episode. Jamil Hossein of NJ's Kitchen makes fushka, a traditional Bangladeshi or Indian subcontinental street food. Restaurateur and musician Bob Hallett of Tavola shows up determined to demonstrate an easy dessert, as he puts it, that's gonna say to your guests, I tried. It's a simplified tart to tan. It only has five ingredients. Anybody can make it. It looks amazing and it tastes great. Well, the tart tar, tart tart tatin sounds impressive. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's crucial that it sounds impressive. Yeah, the, Kevin Chitre, chef at Yellow Belly Restaurant, is from Mauritius, an island in the Indian Ocean. He makes eggplant and potato fritters. Takish Iwata, owner and chef of Basho, makes one of his favorite home comfort dishes, a Chinese noodle soup called Tong Main. It includes noodles, chicken stock, a variety of vegetables, and a key ingredient, bacon. Mark McCrow, who plans to open a southern-style barbecue restaurant, slow cooks a full pork shoulder, known as cochinita pibil. It's a full pork shoulder that we're gonna put a, uh, an echiote marinade on. So we're gonna blend it up, pour it on, wrap it up, and we're gonna, I already baked one in the oven for eight hours. Mm -hmm. This type of thing you can do with a slow cooker too, uh, with a smaller piece of pork at home. Yeah. <laughs> Normally they use a whole pig and they do they bury it in the ground. Oh, okay. So yeah. this is an at-home version. The vodka-based drink. Uh, it uses fresh mud. 
Mixologist Sheldon O'Neill returns to make another of his original cocktails. This time, it's a drink he developed for Basho called Cloud Nine. Making a 10th season of One Chef, One Critic wasn't something we could have imagined back in 2007 when the seed of an idea for a series evolved. Yet here we are, with 14 brand new episodes ready to go. Thank you to all of you who watched the show these past 10 years, and to all the companies and organizations who supported us. We hope you enjoy what comes Sunday night and following Sunday nights this fall and winter. <laughs>